Water Police have called on Caloundra and Malulabak Coast Guard for a training search and rescue SAR, exercise in the Malulabak Bay area. This exercise, without prior warning, was designed to test our crew readiness and ability to conduct a joint operation under real world conditions. Briefing, and we've got the crews assembled, we've got the vessels open up ready for deployment, uh, all the crews are ended in our logs. Uh, I'm going to give a quick briefing to the uh, skippers, uh, they can this off. And on channel 66, so if we can have the... The exercise was based on a missing diver lost in the vicinity of the ex-HMAS Brisbane Wreck Conservation Park. Uh, we well, it's my opinion, the bigger boat. Coordination of our vessel assets was conducted at Coast Guard Malulabar's headquarters. It was led jointly by senior Coast Guard personnel working under the direction of the Water Police. Quick briefing. We've got actually in progress that uh, Water Police uh, vessel um, was in North Robin. North White. North White. North White. North White is on site. The, uh, the exercise is locating a missing diver of the HMAS Brisbane site. Uh, we don't know how long he's uh, been missing, but the uh, uh, water police boat is on site and he's starting a square search. Once we get out there, he will change the first pattern to a inline search. So we finger search. There's four, two boats coming up from the lift. This is the moment that our crew discovered the target and reported their location. The exercise was a great success. On returning to our rescue coordination center, all the parties docked their boats and got together for a wide-ranging discussion on lessons learnt and experience gained in the exercise. We never trust the boss. It went faster than we expected it to. Uh, so, sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. Mario base, it actually was placed on a true... That place to identify as... Anna, done in water, out there... All parties agreed on how useful this joint exercise had been. Yet more of our personnel in planning, coordination, Radio and boat crew are keen to repeat these drills and gain experience in how best to handle these situations for when the next real-life incident will inevitably occur.